let's go in here share screen all right so now we're comparing the galaxy s20 fe versus the galaxy s21 5g again they're both 5g okay all their devices are 5g everything going forward with samsung's gonna be 5g again we're gonna click on differences you guys are gonna see so again the s20 fe is on the left here s20 fe are here on the left on the right we have the 20 with the new 21 okay yeah when we take a look at the size differences okay again the s20 fe is 6.5 inches the 21 comes at 6.2 inches so the s20 fe is just a little bit bigger just a little bit bigger it's a little bit heavier too at 190 grams compared to 170 169 grams over here super amoled on both of them uh we got dynamic amoled basically the same kind of thing honestly i, I don't think you're gonna be able to tell the difference with your with your blind A's, bl blind ease sorry blind eyes and again both support 120 hertz refresh hdr 10. okay really nice really nice and smooth you guys know i had a really good experience with that uh as we all know the s20 fe again the one on the left here s20 fe is uh you know a plastic build the s21 the new one plastic back uh, but the outright pricing from samsung is 7.99 for the 21 for the s20 fe so you know just a few months ago is actually 6.99 so $699 for the S20 FE, then $100 more for the new one. Again, it's the new hotness, right? Android 10 versus Android 11. Obviously, the uh, the FE will be an, uh, upgraded eventually to 11 there. Uh, one UI 3.0 versus one UI 3.1 here. Um, again, very similar experiences. Now, when it comes to what's under the hood, last year's S20 FE, Snapdragon 865. The new one, Snapdragon 888, okay? You guys know this. I told you about this with uh, my experiences. In my everyday experience with the S20 FE, I did not experience any slowdowns, any lags, any issues like that. Anything that would be possibly processor related. I did not experience anything. So I'm confident that with the Snapdragon 888, it should be, it should be the same. There, there really should be no difference. Um, when it comes to memory here, you're gonna get 128 and six gigabytes of RAM, eight gigabytes of RAM on the 21. Okay, so that does make that's one that's one of your reasons for that hundred dollar increase right there. That memory does make a bit of a difference. But in terms of storage, there they both start at 128. Okay, here is something that's key for a lot of people when we look at the cameras. So play attention here. Both camera systems are using a 12 megapixel wide as their main suit, uh, shooters. The f-stop is the same at 1.8, okay? Everything is practically the same on that main shooter between the S20 FE and the S21, okay? When it comes to the telephoto, however, you got an eight megapixel with the S20 FE, a 64 megapixel uh, of course, with the hybrid zoom, the 1X, 1.1 and 3X hybrid zoom there on the 21. Again, that's a reason for that slight price increase over the FE model. Again, it's not a fan edition model. It's one of their main models. So there again, one of your main differences. And then when you look at the ultra wide, as you guys can see here, the ultra wide, they're both at 12. Okay. And again, F-stops, everything is practically the same. Recording features and whatnot are all practically the same. Of course, with the 21, you're going to have the 8K availability. That's one of the biggest differences there when it comes to the video side of things. Selfie camera. Now, the fan edition is a 32 megapixel selfie camera. The 21 is 10. Now, bigger numbers don't necessarily mean a better picture. Uh, we've seen great pictures with 8K, or sorry, 8K, excuse me, 8 megapixel uh, selfie cameras. So, you know, again, fan edition, they definitely jam packed that in there for the, uh, for the, um, for the uh, fan edition there, the, the, sorry, the 32 megapixel, excuse me. Now, everything else is practically the same. Um, here's, a, here's a nice difference. With the FE 4,500 milliamp battery, the 21 is only 4,000. 500 milliamp uh, difference there, which uh, can be significant. So uh, definitely something to think about, okay? Both will support fast charging. And of course, obviously color differences and whatnot. So as you guys can see here, between the S21 and the S20 FE from just a few months ago, there's not a lot of difference 
it really comes down to a, a difference of $100 if you're purchasing outright. But again, depending on your carrier, what uh, agreements you have, trade-ins, things like that, you need to make a decision. You know, what's the better buy and everything like that. Uh, obviously, the best value from a value standpoint, I'm just going based on the specs here. Okay, again, I have not used the S21 yet. But just based on specs as for bang for buck, I'm still going to say the S20 FE is probably the better buy between those two. Um, but I am really intrigued to see some of the camera changes and improvements on the S21, the Plus, and the Ultra um, in terms of the software and whatnot, what's plugged in there. So, um, you know, hopefully once I get myself, get my hands on one of those, I can bring you guys, you know, my impressions, my review and whatnot.